And Coach Cron, uh, congratulations, a win here tonight in your first ever match as a head coach. How did you feel like uh, your club handled the pressure of, of their first match of the season? I think they did a great job. They came out, they played hard, they got after it right away. I, that's always, you know, first couple serves to get the jitters away, but they did great. They kept control of the game the whole time, which was what I was really looking for. What were some of the things you were trying to teach your club coming into this season, and, and did you feel like they executed some of those things tonight? Yeah, we worked a lot on um, serve-receive, which is hard for basically anyone, but we worked a lot on that in practice. Basically every day we do that. And they, I thought they passed the ball very well tonight. And also just um, hitting, mixing it up, not always going to one hitter after the um, same time over and over. And they mixed it up to these back sets even, which you don't see a lot of, but that's okay. Uh, talk about your hitters. How did you think you played at the net? Did you feel like you handled the knee Warner girl uh, who gave some problems at times up at the net? I thought they did a great job. They never got like down on themselves. They kept after it. They were excited. They were excited for each other. I think that's a big thing. Momentum. Uh, volleyball is a huge game of momentum, so they did a great job on just staying on top of it and just pumping each other up and feeding off of each other. One girl got a kill. They were so excited. The next girl get a kill. Still same excitement. What did you think? Talk about your two setters tonight, Lauren Malberg and Sadie. They both did a great job. Um, I had to pull them aside one time. And I just said, hey, why don't we try a couple back sets? Why don't we do this? And they, they did a great job. They listened. Next couple ones out, they did the back set. I'm like, you don't have to do it every time. But, <laughs> no, they did great. Uh, they both did a good job. How did you feel about the back row passing uh, tonight? Um, our passing, we've been working a lot on that. Um, it still needs a little bit of work, but I think it's just because it's early. You don't see, you know, when you don't play as many teams. This is our first actual game. We had a scrimmage a couple of weeks ago, but just to see different girls. And I mean, you pass against the same girls in practice, so you know what their serves are like. So I think that's a little bit harder. But then when you get into a real game, then it's different. Everyone, no one knows what this girl's going to do or what that girl's going to do. So I think they handled it well. Youngster and Holly Hanlo says you're a libero. Got to have a lot of confidence in, uh, in her to be able to stick her in that role. Yes, she did a great job tonight. She really did. She was nervous, but I mean, that's just typical. I think everybody was nervous. I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she got back there and she took charge of the back row, which is what I was looking for. I wanted her to do. And, she made it her own, so that was awesome. Michaela, any areas uh, that you feel like the team still needs to build? I'm sure you always want them to get better in every area, but what were the areas that were a little concerned tonight? Um, just a little bit of our ball control. We need to work on staying out of the net and controlling the ball, wanting like making it go where we actually want it to go, not it being a mistake. Like, oh, that was nice. But just doing that, I think that's our biggest thing. We work on that a lot in practice, but it's still coming. Six matches coming up for you now on Saturday. Probably going to be a very warm gym up there in Lake City. How do you get the girls prepared for that? Um, well, <laughs> it's been nice because we don't have air conditioning in our gym, so they're kind of used to that. So that part's nice. But um, just like we do, we do try to have really intense practices, a lot of like conditioning in the beginning, so then they're tired the rest of the time. So instead of conditioning at the end, where then, oh, we, we can go home. But now they're tired at the beginning, and then they can play through that. So that will help us on Saturday when we get into our fourth, fifth, sixth, game. Well, I tell you what, Michaela, I appreciate you joining us here in the postgame. Congratulations, 1-0 now as a head coach. Thank you. Michaela Cron again with the